Right, well, hello. Y'all get to listen to me ramble this time as I'm walking through everything. In. So, let's get started. We're gonna go on a flight from here, which is rainy Prescott, Arizona. I swear it actually does rain here uh, in the summer sometimes. We're gonna have a little short flight over down to Scottsdale. be following every checklist in the book. You're just gonna have to forgive me. Close on uh, clear left. <laughs> it starts with them off. Okay. Rear is good. Oil pressure is good. Coolant and oil temps coming. on. Clear right. Okay. So I'm actually going to pause this while we're doing this flight plan. This came PRC one way. Use two one left. That should let me make sure I'm actually gonna use two one left. Uh almost. That's close enough. Okay. Oh, a little bit of departure. The Winsky to departure. We're gonna go to one left. What a fair. So I'm gonna go to Winsky 58 or 7 Winsky fair. Should load that. Close this. Zoom out here. That looks fairly correct. My plan going down to Scottsdale. ASDL. Runway 21. I oh, can't do this in real life because right now the runway is under construction, which is definitely a bummer. And we'll, we'll be doing an RNAV approach in the Scott stuff. We're going to load that later. Okay. Back here. And there's no ATC today. Uh, so we'll just pretend we are cleared for stuff. to make this a very hard right hand turn. If I had a dual throttle, I do it that way.
pretend they're actually caring about the ILS old short bar today. It's bad enough weather for them to care. Taxing this. Okay. The controls look good. Fuel sectors on both. Fuel pumps are off. Switches. We'll look backwards, but that's the day 62x mod, not anything else. Right, the 163 departure. We're gonna fly runway heading up to 5800 feet, then turn over to a heading of 045 to intercept this radial 117 radio off of Drake. Winsky and then out to fair and then once I get closing to fair I will load and approach into uh, load and well, well, load and activate and approach into Scottsdale. Oh you know what? Lol. I should turn that on right after start up. Set that out, because it probably would be on alt here. Uh do Flips ten to take off today. Uh, let's pretend we cleared up to twelve thousand. Let's see my heading bug. Two zero eight. There's a little covered up. That's fine. Okay. Let's pretend we have our takeoff clearance. Turn those on. Eastbound. Approach is clear. Departure is clear. Traffic, anyways. Lights are all on. Fuel pumps are on. PB is on. We'll have the anti ice on fairly quickly. I don't have the highest graphic settings in the world, but that's enough. Turn over 
Celsius now, so this is probably freezing rain, even snow. This is being a little weird. This is being a little weird indeed. Did not like that. Anything about that? Heading mode. Looks like still functionality is a little bit weird. Let's see if I go. I'm sure, it's gonna fight my. If I go direct wind ski. Well, no. We'll see. Just maybe. Okay, doesn't work. Well, okay. You would pull that going into IMC. Thirty-five percent. Nice and good. Goes along eleven thousand. Uh, 
lane. We're gonna do. So we're gonna load procedure for Scottsdale. Okay, it's gonna be the RNF two. Choices in here. Sorry, I'm just looking over my iPad. All in slow. I'm probably gonna swirl. Which would be fun because ball is. I don't know what ball is. Oh, ball's way over there. Okay. So now we're definitely gonna go swirl. Minimums on. Minimums parametric. Let's pretend. Authorized for this 438, so 440. I wish you could keyboard type this in. If you're curious, is, is this a pain in the rail aircraft? Yes, this is a pain in the rail aircraft. 440, that looks good. Ah! And I pushed the wrong button. Lop out. I get to do it all over again. Oh, let's hit the 440. Oh, thank God. Let's figure out where Swirl is on the map. There. Okay. New space went to you, so we're actually going to go ahead and activate this approach. You should. Going to export. Hmm. That's a little funky. Let's see what the GPS does. Where's the GPS think I need to go? 183. That is not quite correct. Try to direct to again. Ah, let's go flight plan. To swirl. See, that looks correct. And yeah, the aircraft turns back over. Okay. So, perhaps a little bit of jankiness with the uh, activate approach and direct to. I suspect that's more just with activate approach than direct to. Okay. So, let's take a look at I'm looking at the plate. This is the RNAV RNP runway 21 approach to Scottsdale. Uh, swirl is a minimum altitude of 9,800 for the lake. Yeah, across Hawaii. Uh, these all appear to be one off. Okay, so at Hawaii, minimum altitude would be 82. Marine is 67. So these all appear one off from what they would be in real life. Final approach fix is Edgar at 3300. So I don't know if this is a display issue or if the RNAV is actually having an issue. Because it looks like it's been loaded incorrectly. Because, for example, Elcol should be at, at or above 6000. Well, the minimum altitude is 6000 for that leg to. Uh, Coal, ten coal. I don't know. LT coal. So I don't know if this is a display bug that these are all off, or if these are all actually off of the procedure. They could be actually all off of the procedure. Let me see, are there multiples? Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Make sure it's actually going where we want it to be going. Nevertheless, let's say ETC has cleared me down to 4,000 via swirl, via the transition. So I'm at 4, I'm going to hit VNAV, arm V path, just in case. And I see a top of descent, do I see a top of descent? Right after, I, or right before IOB. Now it thinks I have to cross IOB at nothing, which is true. I don't have to cross over anything. I can cross Hawaii at or above 82. First hard altitude, just until, I guess, the final approach fix at Edgar. 
so we shall see. At this point in the video, you can probably just, uh, just skip until things start actually happening.
why we we're going to fair oh now we're going this way intriguing intriguing still some weirdness it looks like it wanted to go to fair uh, then it wanted to and then it figured out that it was actually here already and wanted to go back a little weird Let's see if the VNF sorted itself. I owe me at 98. That is... See, that is correct. So that's interesting. Because now, now that those are the correct altitudes... Oh, boy. Those are the correct altitudes. Yeah. In fact, I'll go ahead and bug... 3300. So that's the final of Matrix Altitude. We live in a world where ETC just clues me to descend via the transition directly. Would it just vector me around endlessly? Because Scottsdale. And I've got VPath armed, I've got the altitude bug set down to, uh, in an ideal circumstance, our final approach fix altitude. See how it does. The current active VDAV constraint is green at 67. Okay, that's true. We'll make sure it doesn't bust any of the other altitudes because there is the altitude at Hawaii at 82 before that, so we will have to ensure it does not do that. VPath is captured, it's on its way down, so I will throttle back a little bit as a result to not go too fast. Although, granted, this cost would, would, would appreciate me not going too slow in case there's a mischief behind me. I'll go back a little bit. Every now and then you see me just recentering my heading bug in case the GPS starts doing something weird. I can just switch to heading mode and still be flying in roughly the right direction while the GPS figures out what it wants to do. With across the lake to Iobi at or above 98, which looks like we will do. In the real world, it would, it would have VNAV step downs for all of these fixes, and it wouldn't just go to marine at 67. I'm a little worried it'll, it would bust a fix. Yeah. Uh, close enough, we got work. Cross IOB at 98. Okay, that was accurate. Uh, whether by coincidence or by plan. Next one to Hawaii, it should be doing a Hawaii at 682. Which is doing in the flight plan. But it's not doing in the VNAV. Okay, I might have to level it off in 82. We'll see. You know, I could just let it go. Just to see what it does. But in reality, I would be tempted to put my altitude bug at 82. Just to try to bust that before Hawaii. Still outside of the clouds. Temperature's minus three. Might not even need the ice by the time I get into the clouds.
coincidence or by design, we will just, we will be good at Hawaii as well. Only barely. Oh, that VNAV pitched right over. Back on the power even more. Oof. I guess it is by design, because as soon as we crossed over Hawaii, it pitched right over. 4.7 degrees, dang. Power back. If you throw it all the way back in that diamond, the propellers spool up to prevent the engines from flaming out. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Usually, somewhere in 12 to 20 ish was like, literally, I actually add power. We don't need to go quite this slow. Green, bottom of descent. Ah, uh, because the next altitude at LT Coal is just 6,000, so. I really wish it would scroll down here automatically. It's leveling off, so we're gonna add some power. Just work back into alt. Let's get a top of descent, bottom of descent to get to L2 coal at 6,000. We are just into the clouds. Temperature's plus two, so we will be good. I would still pull the alternate air in the real plane, uh, but that's not gonna work here in the sim. Another option I'm eagerly awaiting is the GPS bearing. Uh, it obviously means a little bit more when you have it not on the HSI map page. Still looking forward to the next time that's in. Here's some precipitation. Temperature's plus two. Let's pitch down a little bit. So we'll fall back. So. Bottom of this feed have to sense it's gonna level off real quick. Uh, the next thing is 4800 at meal. So off. I'm trying to remember if this should say Alt V right now, or if that would say Alt. Edgar. Edgar's a final approach fix, so coming up to that I'll slow down and configure. See we're starting to fly over northern Phoenix. And as DBT is whispering coming in on the outskirts of Phoenix. They're working on in the real plane when you pull up the flight pen menu, they say compresses the map just into this side instead of just the flight pen menu blocking this half of the map. Uh, they're working on it. Uh, it would definitely would make this page a lot more readable for sure. Okay. Williams at 4,000. After William, I will slow down a little bit and configure. Let's 
So it's just really about 4,000. Edgar, 3,000, okay. Should be fun. I've never done one of these curved RNAV approaches. Let's get a curve in the, the final approach segment, because Edgar's the final approach phase, so. Should be interesting. Okay, so I'll pull the power back. It's on its way down. It will be eventually on its way down. Okay, we're on our way to Edgar. A 136 laps approach. We'll core 110 at this point. Now we'll do 120 until we start descending. Go ahead, hit approach. Arm the glide path. Look at that. Uh, very nice, very nice. That should be cool. altitude is 5,000, so we'll plug that once we capture the glide path. LPV, not seated. Kind of breaking out, it looks like. Check gear warning, because I got the power down a little low. The real world, you'd have the gear warning beeping at you, which is annoying, but that's kind of the point. The gear horn. So we might just hit the glide path. Glide path capture. Gear down. What? Gear down. Glide pump's on, Pegamix off. Just like just both on. Look for, go for a hundred knots now. Just approach altitude. Five thousand. It's bugged. It has Alt V armed, which it probably wouldn't if it captured a glide path. But no, this would be cool. We're at LPV, we're at glide path, so we're following a three dimensional path. And this is RNP plus, so we're following a three dimensional curved path right now. Final approach segment. We're flying a very precise curved path. And following a GPS glide path. In a curve. This is the future. Of course, you probably couldn't actually do this if you're flying this aircraft. You'd have to get special authorization to fly these types of RNP approaches in the real world. But, hey, that's what the sim's for. To do things you can't do in the world. Some mountains by Scottsdale. We're 2,000 feet above minimums. Oh, look at that! Look at that! We're aligned with the runway. The main sight. Isn't that just the coolest thing? Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> the minimums are not 440. They're 440 feet above the ground. Minimums are uh, 1948. 1950. Ah, so we'll just have to call those out manually. Runway is in sight, though.
minimums. A landing, landing flaps. A little bit of crosswind from the left. Low on the thing, on the instrument glide path, low on the pappies. And a little slow, a little right of center line too. approach, including a curved final approach segment. Oh, uh, I took that too fast. Well, wow. Hey, hope you guys had fun.